Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tate Idols. Today I am not quite so tired. <laughs> Got a little more energy. I also uh, took my vitamins like I'm supposed to. That always helps with stuff. Um, so, yeah. Uh, got some goodies in the mail today I'm going to share with y'all. And, oh, but first, this is Vlogmas Day 3. I feel like a lot of my screenshots have been taking me doing like this or this. It's kind of weird. But, I don't know what's so attractive about that. That they want to do that as the thumbnail. <laughs> I really don't know. But, um, yeah, I've got to finish packing up my box for Christy over at Crochet Creations by Christy. I'm super excited about that. I'm going to be sending her, sending it out tomorrow. And then I have some other things I want to pack up and go ahead and get in the mail. So, I'm excited about that, too. I have orders to pack up, too. So, I got a lot of packing to do. Packing, packing. So, I want to go ahead and do this. Um share a few things with y'all and then I'm gonna go change and cook some hamburgers and potato home fries or whatever um, probably do my oven roasted potatoes I don't know it depends but that's what I'm gonna do um, we wound up eating cereal last night it was way too cold to be eating cereal for supper but I didn't feel like cooking and we didn't really have anything else in there. No canned soup, anything. That's what my husband's saying. We need some canned soup or something. <laughs> so, I'm going to cook at the hamburgers tonight and that will be what it'll be. I was going to cook my a little Mexican dish I make. Well, I don't know if I should call it Mexican. It's like Mexican. It's inspired by a meal we have at our local Mexican restaurant. Actually, we have several Mexican restaurants now that I think about it. We have a new one that I haven't been to called Sachuros, I think that's what it's called. That might be an actual, like, uh, what do they call that? Chain, chain store. I don't know. Or chain restaurant. Is that what they call it? I don't know. Do y'all ever heard of Sachuros? Um, I did get a thing in a mail for a but I want to get one free entree. Need to take advantage of that. Um, but anyway, I was gonna cook. <laughs> getting sidetracked. I was gonna cook the that that meal I made up that is similar to one we get at a restaurant that we love. Uh, but I'm out of rice. Well, I have plain white rice, but I don't really like that. I like the yellow rice, so couldn't do that. Um, and since I'm avoiding going to the store. And it's about as long as possible. <laughs> I'm, uh, I had to change the plan. Anyway, so today I'm wearing, this is a little, I call it a scarfless. I don't know what you want to call it. It's just, it was some fat yarn. It's called Boulevard by Red Heart. I don't remember the colorway. Um, it's just a chain and then I looped it and wrapped a matching, I think this is like hometown or something that I wrapped to tie off the ends. So you could wear it with that in the front if you wanted to. I wear it like I was wearing it, like this. Um, super easy to whip up. I think it would probably make a great gift. You can do it. It's really fun to do. I have a couple of them I've done in I like to mix in fun fur sometimes and stuff and do them because it's so easy. You just like chain till you're finished with the skein of yarn and then you got a nice, <laughs> well, I don't even think this was a whole skein. I think this was because it's bulky. This is a number seven yarn. So uh, I think, I think I got two out of this because I think I gave one to somebody. But yeah, so this is what I wore to work today. Along with a sweater, which I did not make. This is just, I like this sweater, but oh my gosh, static today. This it was driving me crazy because it was clinging and it would come up. Like, you know, I did have an undershirt on, but still, I would rather it have stayed down. I like the shape of this. I'm set up. Even though I didn't make it, I like the style of it. It just looks like a 
basic one, but it has a high-low hem, which you can't see, but it also has this pleat going on in the back. See? Up there, which I like, because that makes it a little more flowy down at the bottom, and I like the style of it. I'd like to repeat it because they just they just pleated the fabric right there and then it has a kind of rounded hollow hem which y'all cannot see i don't think i gotta stand up tall enough for y'all to see that but yeah it's one of now i gotta get back situated and try not to injure myself okay but i really like it um i've had it for a long time it needs a defrozen but yeah, I'd like to make something similar out of some of my other fun fabrics I got out over there because I like the style of it. So, anywho, um, I did crochet and knit last night. I was just going to show you what I was working on. I haven't finished. I do have one finished object, which I'll show you in a minute. But I finished it the other day and I forgot to show it to y'all. So, this, this is my knitted scarf. This is one of the bags I had in the shop a while back. These are the basic totes. They have a canvas outside and a like a poly lining inside. Uh, just a label, no pockets, webbing. And this one I actually took out of the shop because I realized that well, it doesn't look. Yeah, the handle is twisted. It's twisted and it doesn't set right. And it's like, I can't, I didn't want that to be in there like that because it's like, you could probably tell better here. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's twisted. So I just took it out of the shop and I'm using it. So, but I will have some more, uh, those, uh, plaid that I cut. Cat print. I caught a cat print. I showed y'all before. That's what they, they will be. I have them cut out over there. I just got to sew them together. I'll be doing that this weekend. Um, so I will have some more like that in there. Because these are, these are only $15. They're super simple. Basic tote, like I said. Anyway. Here is my knitting project. I have gotten a little further on this scarf. Hmm. This is, I'm making it out of this mandala ombre. This is the cool colorway. So, just something I kind of, I was practicing this, learning the seed stitch. And it's very tedious, but I love the way the texture it gives. So, I decided to just do it with some spaces between. And then I'm going to knit till I get closer to the other end and then do that at the other end and it's going to be a scarf which I've been told already and I keep forgetting about it that you have to put in order to keep this from rolling like it's doing I mean I may go in and crochet a border around this I don't know yet but you have to put like I don't know, pearl stitches at the end of each row or something like that to, to kind of give it an edge to keep it from doing that. And I never do that, so it'll be okay, though. I just like this fabric it's making with this yarn. It's very pretty. This is very soft. This is 100% acrylic, but I'm liking this yarn. So I worked on that some last night. I think I might have put... Four whole rows in it. <laughs> and then, when I was tired, and when I'm tired, knitting makes my fingers hurt more than crochet does. Then I worked on my corner to corner blanket, which is a lapkin. It's supposed to be for a nursing home lapkin for me to send to. I can't remember the name of it, but still working on it because things kind of got to put to the side for a while while I was trying to do other things but this is how far I've got so far 
This is trying to fall off my lap. Oh. Yeah. So, I like the colors on this a lot. This is, um, oh my god, a stitch marker from Kim the Crafty Nomad from the Stitch Marker Swap. That's what I got. It's my T stitch marker I took from the swap. Yeah. Uh, this is, I love this yarn in Wildflower Winds. This is this one I got in a clearance sale at Hobby Lobby because I had like eight skeins of it. So I'm on the fourth skein. So once I finish it, I'll be going back the other way. So it will just be a lap again. But I really like it. It's soft. I worked on that. So it's something super mindless that I could do. And I watched. My dad reminded me. Which it came on at like 10 o'clock, which seems kind of crazy. But making it premiered last night, which is a show, it's kind of a crafting contest. They have makers of all kinds compete. They have a um, challenge and they use their maker skills to uh, make their interpretation of the challenge. I loved it last year and luckily I had it set to record in there. And uh, I turned on the, and when I was looking in there, I realized there was a bunch of stuff in there that was recording. And I never stopped recording because I rarely watch TV anymore. But then I realized there were the cookie baking challenges and holiday baking challenges that I usually watch recorded. I was like, I'm going to watch one of those. <laughs> so that's what I did. I love stuff like that. So, anywho, I just deleted a bunch of other stuff that I know I'm not going to watch. So. And my finished object is this, which is a head wrap. It's a twisted kind of head wrap thing. Yeah. It's, well, it's really an ear warmer because it's, um, I made it wider. Uh, loof the hair back out. Need a haircut, y'all. Um, and this is just this. I made this with the sprightly yarn, um, which I love. This is the acrylic super, it's a super bulky number six. Um, this is the color pewter, pewter. So I had this much left. Um, but this was there was a pattern, but they used a smaller yarn, and I realized it was gonna get. I so I just kind of adjusted it to my. But the pattern was for something different. And I just twisted it. I just made, basically I made a long rectangle and then I seamed it. I twisted it and seamed it. And that's what I did. Um, so, and it's just, the stitch is just um, a half double and a slip stitch. You just alternate them. And that's pretty much all it is. But it gives this wonderful texture that I love. So, i probably make some more of these with all that sprightly I got um, to put in my bag of crochet I take around at Christmas time to let people pick out of. I'm probably going to make some of these too. Um, what else? Oh, I got my cotton cuts. My next cotton cuts in the mail. Uh, yeah, a little pack of cookies. Look at there. Chocolate chip cookies. Um, that's I'm not going to take that out of pack because it's the same colorway. You're not going to know what the blocks look like until I sew them together. I haven't done last month yet. I'm not too worried because I know I'll get both of them done when I'm off um, at the end of this month. So I'll be caught up. Uh, this is the block of the month. It's called the Grecian Square. Which I really love. Hold on a second. Now. Okay. It's up on the back of the couch again. Barking at noises that people he hears outside. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. Like I said, they have signups for the next, because uh, this one will actually overlap the other one, but the next one opens, signups open on the 6th, so that's this Friday. 
So if you um, if you go sign up for this, I'm going to try to remember to put a link down below so you can check it out. Um, this one, I got the bigger one. So I think I'm paying $25 a month for this with shipping. $25, $27. Um, but the pieces are already cut and you have the pattern. I mean, I had someone ask if they thought it would be good for a beginner. And I think it would be because they give you instructions. It's already cut. You just have to sew it together. It's pretty easy and I love it. Um, I love having them already cut out and I just sew. Um, but they have a different size. It's like 17. It's a little less. So they have two sizes you can choose from. And then they'll have many different colorways you can choose from. Um, so, uh, but sign ups for the next one open up this Friday. And if you decide to sign up, please uh, give my name as a reference um, because we will both get a little gift. That's what my little, I had some little cards with the last one I got. Let me go find them. I don't have to give you the card. You just, like, if you ask, when they ask who referred you, you would give them my name, Christy Cook, which I'll put down both sides of the link. So I know Christy, it's, it's spelled like a bazillion different ways. So anywho, and I also got some Christmas gifts in today, but most of it's not anything that's going to be super interesting. But I want to show you these socks my, that are for my son. <laughs> bah humpug. <laughs> we were, uh, and it's got little pugs and Christmas hats on it. My son is obsessed with having a pug named Noodle one day. And we were looking at stuff online. We saw these socks and we was like, oh, and it was like, uh, yeah, so we had to put them in the cart. So he already knows he's getting them, but they'll go in his stocking. Um, and I, I thought they were super cute. Um, I also got super interesting, some <laughs> charging cables. <laughs> this bag's kind of neat. It's like a matte zipper bag that could be reused. It's pretty cool. Um, I got these on a lightning deal on Black Friday on Amazon for $7.99, I think. For was there five in there? Oh my goodness. He is just there's a dog out there barking and carrying on. And you can just hear it. This neighborhood like echoes for some reason. I don't know what it is. And if when the heat goes off, the heater, the central heat and air goes off, you can just hear everything i don't know why the dog is fussing but yeah that's what he's barking at so anyway i got these cables because i have two plugs but i had one cable and i'm tired of being in one room and it's always in the other room <laughs> so i got these and plus i'm pretty sure these work for my husband's phone too so he can have extra cables too uh yeah i think that's pretty much it for today I think that's enough anyway. Um, like I said, I'm about to go change and I'm going to be cooking some hamburgers. Get all that done and then I can come in here and start packing packages to send out. So excited. I'm going to have to go by the mailbox, the post office because, oh, that's not going to fit in my mailbox. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Oh, I will plug in the um, box three of the Southern Skeins Advent Calendar right here so you can take a look at that. Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Two Doddles. It's time to open box three for the Advent Calendar. Woohoo! Let's see what we got going on in here. Ooh, look at that. Some nice purple I love purple look at that got some nice fading going on there how gorgeous is that do, 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 do. mini skeins are the best I don't care and we aren't already I'm not surprised y'all uh yeah I guess y'all are kind of sensing a theme of jewel tones for this all right I will see y'all in a bit to show y'all how this works up in part 
three of the crochet pattern. See y'all in a little while. Then, so, um, I lost my train of thought. It just flew right out the door. So that was the, the day three of the advent calendar. Like I said, y'all probably have, um, I know y'all have little extras that I didn't get in my, but I got the yarn early, so, you know. Um, and like I said, if, you, if you're if you making the uh, crochet pattern and you have any questions, let me know, please. You can email me. Um, my email is always down below. Um, you can message. Uh, hmm. I need to see if I put comments open on that page or not. I don't know if I can do that. Emailing me is probably the best way. <laughs> And then, oh, you should go check out Southern Skeins. She has a YouTube channel. Did I tell y'all that? I think I keep forgetting to tell y'all that. She has a YouTube channel. Y'all go check her out. Um, she's doing her box openings, and she has the knit pattern. So, definitely go check that out. And I gotta remember to put the link down below. And let's see. Let's think about this. I feel like there were some questions, some people saying things in the comments. I am going to answer in the comments when I get a chance to, um, but let's see, someone asked me, oh, the pattern for the advent calendar. I will make it available, the pattern for sale after the first of the year. I want to make sure everybody who purchased the advent calendar and wants to make the pattern gets done with everything before I make it for sale for anybody else. So that will go for sale on my Etsy shop after the first of the year. Someone asked me about that. And then, oh, Austin. From Austin's Crochet Corner, I think that's correct. Yes, I'm excited about getting the corner to corner blanket. Um, it's looking like maybe it'll come right about the time I'm off. So that'll be awesome. I can go ahead and, and do it. And plus it's on the decrease, which is always awesome for a corner to corner, right? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. It is coming from, I think, Laurel of the Dabbling Hook has it now. So looking forward to that. And then... What else? I feel like there was something else. Mm. I do read the comments as soon as they come in, most of the time. As long as I get the notification. Because I noticed here lately, sometimes I'll get one and read it, and then I'll realize there's like three or four other ones that didn't notify me. I don't know why it does that. It's weird. So, and then Facebook, it's horrible. Have y'all, um, that dog, he is just irritated today. Little, little, hold on. Okay, I had to go make him lay down because he'd be in a grumpy pants. Anyway, he has a birthday coming up on the 12th, and he will be 12 years old. I broke down last night and ordered him a bark box, <laughs> which I keep seeing it advertised, and I keep debating on it because you get the first month for $5, like a bunch of the other boxes. I think it's $29 a month. Well, it's $29 a month. If you commit to six months, you don't have to pay for the all six months up ahead. You're just committed to getting a box for six months and that gives him an extra toy. So he still loves to play and chew and he loves his little treats. You know, my big dog's not so much interest. She likes the treats, but I have some those oinkies chew bones that she loves. And for some reason, my little dog Lucky doesn't like them anymore. He used to love them. He will not. Nope. Not anymore. He didn't like them. So, for his birthday, I got him Bark Box for six months. <laughs> but uh, I think he's going to be excited about it. So, he loves a good toy, especially if it has a squeaker in it. Of course, he demolishes it instantaneously. But I figured he will have some fun things to play with and new treats to try. So, all right, guys. Are y'all, why did I say guys? I hardly ever say guys, but I did. Y'all, I think, I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I can't get distracted by the dog. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in here and cook me something because my stomach is growling. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.